Oh, today's smoke wing day. That's right, one of my favorite days. I love smoking wings. It's always been one of my favorites to make. I enjoy it, it's easy to do, and more importantly, it's fun. But today's got a little bit of a twist. I'm actually gonna be sharing with you uh, some, com some combinations for pre-marinating your wings. I love to use this, particularly it's Louisiana sweet honey with heat, and I'm just telling you, it always works for me. But it's actually gonna be competing today against another pickle brine, which a lot of people like to use for their wings and other chicken recipes. Uh, and then I'm also gonna be throwing in sliced jalapeno juice uh, as well. So we'll be trying all three of these. You'll get to see which one wins at the very end of this. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you some of the base that I use for creating unique wing flavor creations that you can do in your own home and that you'll be able to enjoy as well. So. Without further ado, let's get into it and let's have some fun. You ready? Let's go. I'm gonna get your drumettes and your wingettes kind of going. So basically, what I do is I'm, when I'm usually slicing down a wing, I just try to get down to where that bone is, and then as you can see right there, just clean it, and then you have basically a perfect drumette and a wingette. I will do a little bit of trimming, which I'll show you in a minute. But let's go ahead and get the rest of these sliced up and go for it. try to break these down as far as uh, having a good sampling of both drumettes and wingettes in both in, the, in the, each of these sets and then from there I'm start off right here basically putting in my hot sauce if I can get it open <laughs> so yeah get that going get the hot sauce in here uh, this is just something I just thought about doing one time and um, did it and I've been happy with it ever since. I've used many of hot sauces. Uh, I'm not going to say that they, uh, I would say they all have worked uh, to one extreme or another, but uh, I just particularly like this one. It seems to work. As you can see, I'm taking the air out of the bag and then basically getting that rolled up. And then we'll get that into the refridge, let that finish defrosting, and then we'll move on to the next batch. All right, next, doing some set to include this pickle brine. See how that works. One of the reasons I saved that pickle juice was just for this experiment. I'm gonna be curious to see which one forms better between the hot sauce and the pickle juice. I know they both work, um, but I've never really compared the two, so I'm curious to see how it turns out. Again, I'm taking the, all the air out of the bag as much as I can as I seal it up. That'll help let, make sure all those juices get in there almost like it's vacuum sealed. As you can see here, I got one little last batch here. I'm gonna use this jalapeno juices. Uh, I'm not using as much wings for this one. One, because I'm afraid it's gonna be too hot for people to have, but I just, you know, I've never tried it. Figured it'd be a fun experiment to try with jalapeno juice. I'm really not sure how it's gonna work out, so I don't wanna ruin a bunch of wings if it doesn't work. But if it does work, then you know what I'll be doing. I'll be trying this again in the future. So, without further ado, let's get these in the refrigerator and then we'll get these on the smoker a little bit later on. So we're getting ready to get down to this. Smoked wings, marinated three different ways with pickle juice, jalapeno juice, and my favorite method, hot sauce. So we're gonna see which one wins, which one turns it up on top, which one makes a better wing, smoked wing when it's all said and done. We're gonna get these seasoned up and then we'll get these on the smoker and go from there. And basically what I'm doing, what I always do with the Primo setup is I'm doing this as indirect for the wings. Uh, it just makes more sense. I got the plate over here, I got that covered and some aluminum foil, uh, as you can see. Then over here, I got the Prime 6 charcoal rolling. I'm actually gonna put my grates down on this side, downward. Uh, and reason for that is to get it closer to the heat because I will be doing some searing with the uh, wings as well. But basically this is gonna protect it. I'm trying to get this around 300 get that set then I'm gonna throw in some smoking uh, wood and then we'll go from there and I'll show you what this looks like once we get rolling remember we're doing the experiment with three different wings marinated three different ways can't wait to see how this turns out all right so as you can see we're right at 300 on the primo we'll go ahead get the wings on here 
What I typically like to do is put the meteor ones closer this way. Now I'm gonna have to keep this separated, so this is gonna be part of the trick uh, based on the different marinades that I use. But I'm basically sticking the drums, as you can see, because they obviously have a little bit more meat than the wings, or the flats, sorry. So basically putting those up there. Get all my, on this one, on this side, over and up. And then for the pickled ones, similar process. Just kind of keep them separated. And I'm gonna switch a few of these out. So I like to stick the ones with the, have the most meat to the front. We'll stick the rest of these back here. These are the jalapeno ones. I'll just kind of put these back here. It's not gonna hurt anything. I'll move these around. Basically, this will be my direct grilling zone. This is my indirect. And then we'll kind of process them. As we get closer to these being smoked, we'll go ahead and sear them and get a little bit of crispiness on them. All right, so now that I've got everything kind of set up, this is about the time I like to put my smoking wood in there. I'm putting these bourbon barrel blocks in here. These things work out pretty good. Um, I've tried them a few times now. Uh, definitely work and uh, adds a little smokiness, uh, bourbon smokiness to the to the uh, meat. And like I said, it, it's worked out well for me. Uh, but this is the time while we'll put the uh, smoking wood in there. That'll start to get this to start smoking. Obviously adds flavor to the chicken. And like I said, what we'll be doing is basically grilling these indirect, usually around 45 minutes, and then we'll hit them on the direct side, get a little bit of char, and then we'll sauce them. I'll show you how I make my base sauce that you can use at home to create a variety of different flavors for wings. So I'm gonna show you how I make the base to my crazy style of wing sauce that I use. It's really easy, but it's also fun, and you can do it in your own kitchen and make some amazing sauces as well. I kind of like to think of these as like dessert wings once it's all said and done. It does bring out the flavor. It does have a lot of sweetness, but at the end of the day, they're still amazing wings and they're great. So let me show you what I use as a base and you can change some of these ingredients to match your own needs. All right, so first things first, I always start off with a third tablespoon of butter. Next, I always use typically a teaspoon of brown sugar and I put that into the melted butter, obviously. Now, here's where it gets unique. I'm usually gonna use a cup. You can use a little bit less, but this is basically preserves. And what I have in here is essentially blueberry and raspberry preserves mixed. From there, I'm actually gonna put in about a tablespoon or more of bourbon. And then I'm gonna put in another teaspoon of mustard. You use whatever mustard you like. I'm also going to add in half a teaspoon of hot sauce and then I'm going to put in, uh, put in your favorite barbecue season. I'm going to use probably another tablespoon or so of this uh, and then I'm going to mix this in. I'm using that Adam McKenzie's double smoke. It'll add a nice flavor to it. And then from there, just really start mixing that in together. Now some of these ingredients you may not agree with and you don't have to use them, but I promise you this is gonna turn out great. Um, I'm actually gonna be burning off some of this so it will reduce down. Um, but as you can see, it's definitely gonna add some flavor and I really like the texture of the wings once this glaze has been put on there. Um, so as you can see, looks really good. And this will reduce down, uh, like I said, once I get it onto a pan. And you don't typically even have to do that if you don't want to because inevitably once you get this onto the wings it's just going to be as a glaze primary glaze and then a secondary um, once you have cooked the wings so i'll show you what that looks like that's essentially how i create the base for all these different wings that i use sometimes i'll change up some of the ingredients but basically that's the base of it so just keep that in mind uh, i'll put it down in the link down below too or down in the caption so you can have it for reference, but like I said, this is how I do what I call dessert wings. Wow, you can see we've got good crispy skin coming in, both the pickled version, the jalapeno version, and the hot 
sauce version. Both, they all three look good. Uh, as far as the uh, skin texture, looks like they're shrinking up really nice. Um, the aroma smells amazing, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how these turn out. I'm gonna go ahead and start searing these, get them a little bit charred, and then we'll put them into some sauce that we made earlier and go from there. Getting all these wings on the direct side now. Get them a little bit more crispy before we glaze them. Man, I tell you what, the skin on these look amazing. And it's a good thing. The one thing uh, I always caution people when putting the chicken wings on the direct side is obviously watching out for flare up because you will get it. There's still some uh, obviously grease in the chicken wings and um, fat, if you will. It's gonna render down still some more. And it's gonna start to cause some flare ups here. Probably not too much more longer. So just be careful of that. I am not gonna say or admit to the fact that I may have lost a few batches because of that, but once you've done it once or twice, you realize you can't do that. Just can't leave them unattended once you start this process. It's more of a watching. And right now these things look great. So basically those are the ones with the hot sauce marinade. These are the ones with jalapeno and these are the ones with the pickle. Stay tuned. Thanks. All right, the trick will be pulling these off individually, separating them. Because obviously we want to see which one method tastes better, right? So I'm pulling the pickle ones off first. I'll get the other ones here in just a second. Looks like we're getting a nice char on these. So I'm going to go ahead and move these back over to the indirect side and then we'll get the rest of these off of here and get them sauced up. All right, so these are the pickled wings. I'm just gonna throw some of the sauce in here on top of that. Spin that around. And then we'll get them back on the grill just to get the sauce kind of to stick, if you will, before we finally try them out. All right, get those wings sauced. All three different batches. We're gonna basically let that glaze set in on these wings before we pull them off and definitely look forward to seeing how they taste test. Let me know down below which one you thought would win. And of course, at the end of this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button if you like what you've seen today. Definitely more to come, should be a good one. Moment of truth. All right, there's the, I don't know, I mean the uh, hot sauce. This is the pickle juice and this one is the jalapeno so let's try them out see which one goes and see which one's the best all right so here we are the moment of truth which one is the best marinade for wings obviously I'm a little bit uh, favorable of the hot sauce that's what I've been using for a long time I have used pickle juice for other things never used jalapeno juice so without further ado let's get into it Now that's, that's interesting. That was the uh, pickle. And I gotta say, it turned out really juicy. You can definitely taste the jalapeno in this. It's like a little hint of flavor on the back end. It's really intriguing. It's if you've ever had pickled jalapenos, you know what the flavor is like, but you can just feel a little bit of that at the end of it. Now onto my one and only hot sauce. Excellent. I'm gonna stick with what I know, and I'm just telling you right now, the hot sauce works. Pickle juice works as well. It actually makes it juicy. Uh, the jalapeno juice, I'm not really sure if it did anything. It did have a hint of back flavor on there. It didn't hurt it by any stretch. So I encourage you to try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. If you liked what you've seen today, hit that subscribe button. And for till then, good eats. And like I said, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.